Okay, let's analyze the situation. A knight and I guess the king. Hmm. Well, he has the forceful att attitude. You gotta sit back and watch. Let's do this. These words may be overbearing. Observe his behavior closely. Exactly. I will take over this investigation if I have to. Logic chest begin! Uh, who's taking over the investigation? Nay! <laughs> okay. No, allow me to speak freely. I love, like, the different retorts you can say to them because, like, they can sometimes get, like, really offensive. Not in, like, a modern, not like in a South Park style, like, offensive, but just, like, how rude you can end up being. Restrain yourself from making any more unnecessary comments. I'm gonna wait and see. So usually you can, like, read the descriptions and know whether you have to wait or see or answer. Just based on, like, the questions alone. So he's calling inter or uh, international rights or whatever. Remember this as a clue. Explain your reasons. Hold your tongue. Actually, that's not that's not useful. Is it connected to the place? He's breathing so deeply. <laughs> yeah. International rights, or whatever it's called. Extraterrestrial rights. There you go. That all that in Investigations 1. Ooh. You seem unsettled. <laughs> Okay, I should have been more angry. Got it. If I observe his behavior closely, I should be able to read his emotions. So I guess that I I did make him mad. Got it. Okay. Well, luckily, you don't end up losing that much time. Um, since all your time is basically wasted on picking choices. So unless you just spend a lot of time on a single choice, you shouldn't have any problem. You seem unsettled. <laughs> can't overlook them. Your face grew pale, so it has something to do with extraterrestrial rights. He's calmed down. <laughs> That's right, I will swallow you! Okay. Sure. How convenient. Let's test the validity of it. Bring it on. Um, is your claim valid? Exactly. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna wait and see. Exactly. Well, technically we laid on on her too, but I don't I don't think she's the killer. This plane is Zangfa territory. Okay, well, let's go get some clues then. Let's take the other one. Are you- aren't you being too forceful? Are your actions too forceful? Hmm... You think I will obey you? It's authority. Leadership! Of course, Mr. Mufasa. I forgot about that. 
Everything the light touches belongs to you. Uh, I should have. Uh, I should have said. There's much more I could have said. Yes, it took place outside the plane. Useful clue. Okay. Uh, is your claim valid? So let's go fast forward through all of this. Wait and see. Now right here, it's time to use that clue. The gun was outside the plane. BOOM! So even if your plane was extraterrestrial rights, the crime took place outside. Do not apply. Booyah! I win! Checkmate, Mr. President. Checkmate. Especially since we have the right now. Or I could get you into big international trouble. Booyah! <laughs> There you go. I am the president of Zhang Fa. <laughs> Can you please give us our evidence back? All of our evidence is returned. Okay. Okay. May I make one more request? Can you give a testimony? <laughs> oh, that's literally the first thing Edgeworth says. <laughs> Can you just give a testimony? You know, for the record. For the record book. It's a courtroom procedure. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great seeing them, like, crack under the pressure of, like, laws. Thank you. Now heed my words! Oh my gosh, his eyes are terrifying in that shot. <laughs> you were in the center of the stage. And a red balloon bursting. Second gunshot. It seems pretty tight. Yeah. But the, the testimony seemed pretty bullet tight. Airtight, whatever you want to call it. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, I think this is the part that's important. Both sides of the stage. Security plans? Do they really? Oh. Well, no, that's that's something else. I want security plans. Oh, it does have it does have the, the balloons there? Okay. 
Okay, let's see about this. How did they escort you? They're attached cases. Attach A. They led you toward the plane. Yeah. A second gunshot. What about the second gunshot? Hmm. I don't actually remember when I have to had to contradict this one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Peep up the truth. Stay the crime scene. Okay. Let's review. Let's review what I got. Um, does it does it just want me to say this was not a red balloon? It was a steel samurai balloon. Really? Didn't they explain this already? They turned it upside down, right? What exactly is this? The Steel Samurai. Yeah. Uh huh. Why is that? Two red balloons. Uh huh. Uh huh. What happened to the original balloon? Why did the original pop? I can't imagine who that was. <laughs> a stand, a steel samurai balloon, and a poser. <laughs> it's gotta be Larry. Yeah. Okay. Why is this so strange? What? How could you not see the balloon? Oh, BS. <laughs> you wish it was like that. Yeah. There is a problem with that. There is a huge problem with that. <laughs> yeah. That's very interesting. Especially since I know he's not lying. The 
bullet trajectory. Because it had to go through the flag, and the only way it could do it from this trajectory was... if it was fluttering south or whoever the direction they're saying it is. So that must mean the flag was shot at a different time. Before it, or after it. Probably before it, though. So that changes everything. Right there. Yeah. The trajectory changes. Oh! No! We can tell who fired the shot. That person is... Indeed. This makes no sense, but the only person that it could be... Who fired the gun. The only person is Horace Knightley. Ho oh. ho. Line it up. Updated. <laughs> you can even see it in the picture, can't you? Um, this one. Yeah, you can see, like, his right hand, like, looking to the left, shooting the flag. Yeah. The wind strength changes very quickly. I gotta have a picture, right? That shows the moment is... It should be... It doesn't show the camera, though. Oh, but you can see the flag in this, this one! You can see it perfectly in this one. Bring it. Take that! <laughs> it's a good thing it gave me the right photo. The photo is right here. You can see the flag. Fluttering can be seen. And that's the, that still leaves the question of the whole laser. Is the assassin. No, he's not the assassin. Let's go with not the assassin. <laughs> Was the balloon. Yeah, that really doesn't make much sense, but you can prove it because there's a laser on the forehead. was Horace Knightley. Yes. How? Okay. Okay. If you say so. He moved to the right side, so that made it possible for him to shoot the balloon. It was said so he couldn't move his head, right? Yeah. It had to have been. He would have been on the left side. He wouldn't have been able to aim at the balloon if that was his intent. If that's the case...
changed yesterday. On the president's order. Oh my gosh! The assassination attempt couldn't have been premeditated if the security plans were changed. Edgeworth, man, this logic is so great. <laughs> It all adds up. I, I'm. This is also probably one of my favorite confess the truth see, themes. I love this. Why would the assassin wear a red hood? The laser. Everything makes sense now. Assassination was a setup? the balloon. Yeah. One that shot. Ailey turned towards the balloon, pulled the trigger a second time. Yeah. Wait, but then, who shot Rook? <laughs> I find that very unlikely. Had to have been Nightlight. She was part of She was part of it. Red Hood. We turn it inside out. The Red Hooded figure vanishes. And that's why she had the security plans! They would have just let, it, let the assassin go. Oh, 